Hello, my name is Kyra Wright and this is a pitch for a new documentary that I've been working on called Exploring Amman with this pilot trial episode focusing purely on activities in and surrounding the capital city of Muscat. Within the contents of my 30 minute documentary about the city of Muscat, I will be following a stylistic yet general format to overview Amman's capital city, which will be led and presented by renowned British television presenters and stand-up comedians Jack Whitehall and Bridget Christie. The documentary will explore the city of Muscat through the eyes of the public, expressing a unique visual of what tourists can expect to do in the city. The visuals and auditory elements will cover beaches, malls, souks, mosques and hotels in regards to structures and architecture of interest. Both Whitehall and Christie will introduce members of the British public to a beautiful cultural city by exploring these different areas of interest, which will be explained further into the pitch. However, it will focus upon the different and conventionally must-see attractive areas that tourists can access for little to no money. This will ensure that the target audience for my documentary will range from several different social classes and economic groups by appealing to these demographics equally. So, why Jack Whitehall and Bridget Christie? The reasons for choosing these two presenters goes as follows. Jack's reputation as a popular British comedian, writer, actor and television presenter will bring in a younger audience as well as an older audience that are fans of Jack's comedy, specifically his touring stand-up comedy shows and his infamous television series on the BBC, Bad Education. Bridget Christie applies the same assertions to the documentary as a presenter, as she too is a popular British comedian, writer, actress and television presenter. I chose Bridget due to her popularity with her touring comedy show and her appeal to mature audiences. The two working together has not been done before which will prove a unique factor to the documentary and the way the comedians will work together to apply to certain types of humour within the documentary. The age difference between the two comedians being 17 years will also bring in a mass audience due to the two having a diverse age range of fans, therefore applying wide star appeal. The format is participatory, with elements of off-screen narration, meaning the documentary will be using interviews with locals and B-roll. This will be used to imply an intimate connection between the viewer and the crew, as well as there being an interaction between the cast and crew and the set itself. This is a common style in documentaries as it allows the audience to feel connected with the environment that the documentary is promoting, especially in regards to a travel documentary such as this one, as it makes it more appealing to the eye of the annual family holiday makers and tourists alike. A documentary such as this one is usually from the filmmaker's point of view, and the audience is following them through the eyes of the presenters who lead the documentary, which is what I have planned for the production of mine. Within the 30 minute runtime of my documentary, Jack and Bridget will be visiting places across Muscat and introducing them to people who are not familiar with Muscat or Oman as a whole. These places will include the Al Ali Fort, Al Alam Palace, Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque, Mutra Souk and the Corniche, as well as the Royal Opera House, where they will get the opportunity to talk to some of the workers and locals in and around these interesting places. This is used to give tourists ideas as to where it would be a good place to visit when they come sightseeing and learning about the structure and culture of Muscat. Obviously, when one travels to a foreign country, they want to check into a hotel that accommodates to their needs and gives them the stay they want after a long day of travelling or tourist experiences. The hotels that Jack and Bridget will be checking into with the crew throughout their stay is the Grand Hyatt Muscat, the Radisson Blue Hotel, the Crown Plaza and the Fraser Suites of Muscat, where they will be filming in and around the hotel's many rooms, beaches, spas and pools. This will give viewers an insight into what they can expect from the five and four star hotels in Muscat if they were to stay for a holiday. The tourism element is the lesser unique section of the documentary, as many of the target audience will be watching for what the general tourist attractions are in Muscat. So, regarding this, I have collected the top three tourist activities for Jack and Bridget to try out for the documentary. The hop on hop off Big Bus Muscat, the camel riding, a visit to Jebel Akhtar, and the tour of Wahiba Sands. The target audience for my documentary has been placed under an umbrella of ages and social classes, as well as considering the stereotypical interests of certain age demographics and gender normative interests. The main audience demographics I am focusing on is the middle class families with a steady income. This brings the family together where they can all sit down at prime time to consume the documentary and have their interest piqued by the activities they can do in Muscat as a family. This will also appeal to younger members of my umbrella demographic, students or young adults from the ages of 15 to 23 would also be the target of my documentary as it would pinpoint what is cheap and what can be done in the city for little to no money or planning at all which will market for ease and convenience. As well as this, my target audience will also be middle aged people, either friend groups, clubs, classes or couples. They will be more interested in the hotels than the experiences, which allows for my documentary to cover them in great detail. All in all, the documentary's target audience is planned out to appeal to a wide demographic. The difference between my documentary and others of the same subject is that it will be presented by people who are well known and loved by the British public, so it applies a uniqueness and a specific reason for members of the British public to watch. Although the subject of the documentary might not interest them, 
they will still be attracted to it due to the presenter's appearance. This will make it stand out from the rest of travel documentaries, as it focuses more on the unique tourist destinations of the city, rather than the sightseeing elements that are overdone in travel documentaries. By focusing on specific elements of what tourists can explore as a family, as a group or as a couple, it brings the targeted audience demographic of middle-class families, low-income students and middle-aged males and females together in viewing my documentary for information and entertainment purposes. Thank you for listening. I hope you will consider my creative vision and understand what I am trying to achieve with my documentary.